Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. So recently, Epic Games, or Unreal Engine folks, upgraded the medieval environment that you can get for free. Now, this right here is nothing new. It was released, I believe it was 4.26 whenever I first made a video about it. But they pretty much upgraded it to the current gen, which includes Nanite, Virtual Shadow Maps, and so on and so forth. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Honestly, this environment right here was one of the environments that really blew my mind when it first came out. So let's see what changed and let's see how it performs. Uh, additionally, the Unreal Engine 5.3 DLSS 3 plugin is also available now. So we're going to be using that as well in this demonstration to see how much FPS we can get back. We have MSI Burner here. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to package the game or the package to EXE. I was getting some HLOD error, so I just launched it as a standalone. So again, the FPS here is probably gonna be lower than if you will actually package the thing. So basically in the project, I just turned off motion blur and I just cranked all the settings up to cinematic. I am recording this with one uh, RTX 4090 and OBS as well. So keep that in mind. And that being said, let's go check this out. They also redid some of the sound effects as well. I believe some music, but yeah, let's take a look. So right now at cinematic settings with RTX 4090 and recording in OBS, getting about 43 frames per second. And it's pretty cool because honestly, I am not seeing the lumen flickers in the foliage that I'm seeing in my project. So I, I got to find out how they were able to do that. But the entire level is now nanite because before again, 4.26, they didn't have nanite or lumen. So it was all, I think it was like GI, it's like a GI technology that they were showing off. So there it is. Let me turn on DLSS 3 now by pressing K. Now this is ultra performance. And right off the bat, we got about 74-ish frames per second. Again, this is cinematics. This is not... You don't run a game in a cinematic setting, okay? High, maybe, or epic. But cinematics is, I think, my opinion is for cinematics only. So ultra performance, and again, what's interesting about this is if I flip it on and off, so K is ultra performance. If I press P, this is, you know, without DLSS 3. And just trying to see if it changed as far as quality goes. It does a little bit, especially in the foliage. But in the rock areas right here on the left side, I really can't. Yeah, I, I don't notice much difference. This is with uh, DLSS off, 40 frames per second, and this is with Ultra Performance. So let's go with Ultra Performance right now, and this is running pretty nice. It's what, what's interesting about this is I've played with DLSS 2, and I feel like DLSS 3 have improved in the foliage area. Because even at Ultra Performance right here, we're not seeing a lot of noise in the foliage like I did before with 2. So that means that, well, I can only speculate that the model, the AI model is getting better. And we'll flip it on and off here in a second as well. I think they went a little bit too ham with the bird sounds. Now this is cool because if you haven't seen or played around with this medieval environment, I highly suggest you download it because there are a lot of assets in here that are just really high quality. And one of which is the actual uh, blueprint here. They have this scarecrow, which is cool because if I look back, it changes position. Ooh, man, my FPS tanked there for a second. Give me one second. So right now, all of a sudden, I kind of walk through this area. And there's the Scarecrow. And when I turn it off, yeah, my FPS just got destroyed. And that's interesting. So again, let's flip it on to Ultra Performance. And now we're getting about 40 frames per second. Man, my RTX 4090 is not liking me doing this. And again, visually to me, I don't, I wouldn't mind playing an ultra performance. 
the quality of it doesn't change enough. See, this is with it off. And then this is with it on. We're at that point that it, the visual wise, I, it's starting it's starting to get really difficult to see the difference between DLSS 3 and with it off, aside for the frames per second boost. Uh, so K is uh, ultra performance. I believe L is performance. Yep. So you can see right here. So this is going to be a little bit better as far as the quality goes. Let's go with K again. Ultra performance, more FPS, and then performance. Yeah, it's starting to really... Man, it's getting pretty good. Alright, there's the Scarecrow again. Amazing. Now, if I remember correctly, I was not able to run this at 4K, 60 frames per second, when this first came out in 4, without any DLSS. Ain't no way. But now, it's like, okay, we're at 48... Let's go to Ultra Performance again, or about 51 cinematic settings. Let's go this way. Oh, okay. So I don't remember the blocking volume being that close, but it looks like... Alright, that's fine. I guess they moved it up some. So we can't go any further than that. And the light changes again, which was in the original, which is kind of cool. Now, I really do like this right here. I'll press P now, and we're going to turn off DLSS in about 34 frames per second. I mean, this looks pretty good. And, K okay, Ultra Performance. Let's go to Balance. Now, Balance is my favorite sweet spot. We're still getting about 53 frames per second here. I love, man, they did. Just look at these little house, village houses. They look incredible. And I think this is a two year old demo, if I remember correctly. Because it was like 4.26. Yeah, it's, starting, it's, it's gonna start getting darker here in a second. Some fake fire. The wind's starting to pick up. Yeah, this area right here is my favorite. So let's go to the right. Oh, okay, they cut you off here. Uh, I remember being able to go back there. Strange. Okay, it looks like they're, they they kind of cut it off a little bit earlier than I remember. Unless my memory is terrible. This is like one of my favorite mega scan because ugh, this this is so amazing here. Let's go check it out with DLSS 3 off. So P is off. We don't have as much foliage here, so F FPS wise, it, it's not taking a hit. All right. And let's turn it on to K, which is going to be our ultra performance. And we're breaking at 67, 65 limit. And again, visually, it's getting pretty difficult. For me to see. So here it is off again. Let's go to balance. That's awesome. Okay, I don't remember that thing being pink. Oh, looks like the volume is right here. I just triggered it. Yeah, I triggered it. There's no going back. Alright. Yeah, I don't remember that being pink. It looks like they changed it. Let's go this way. Yeah, this, this looks amazing. Looks great. All right, so let's go with P. Let's go with K. Multi performance. Yeah, 
I, I just honestly don't even see the difference. That looks so good. Love that smoke. I don't know, the sound's kind of off, because there's, like, lightning, but you don't see it. That looks incredible. We got one floating... We got a... St <laughs> it looks like they took the foliage tool and kind of accidentally clicked over this area, and now you have three floaters. I do that all the time. That is very common. I love this shot right here, bro. That's... Oh, I just went through that. Oh, I wish that the view was a little bit wider, because that would have been cool. All right. Awesome. All right, where are we? Let's go with K, Ultra Performance once again. Got that pink magic in the back now. Burning pink. All right, if I remember correctly, there's a trigger here. Got some nice lens flares going on. Subtle. Got the fire. I feel like they toned down the fire a little bit, because I remember the fire being, like, insane. This is so cool. And, like, the crazy thing is, again, this environment is free. All these assets you're getting here are, like, mega scan stuff. Paddle is going through that barrel there. I wonder if that's, like, manually placed or, like, procedural. Maybe that's why it's doing that. Love it, man. I feel like... I feel like it looks better than before. Okay, let's go to the left. I'm actually doing something with the assets... Uh, in this level here, just for fun. This is so good. We have the graveyard here. Fire. We got this mesh kind of jacked up. <laughs> you can see it. That's not good. But I do love this graveyard here. A creepy tree. It's amazing, man. I'm going to balance right now. And again, when I'm flipping the switches... It, you can, I can't even tell anymore. I'm, I know I'm just getting more FPS, which is always good. Because I'm trying to record this at 60. Uh, I can't go back there. So we got an invisible wall here, which is okay. Alright, let me slide in. Slide. Okay, there. Very cool. Yeah, I don't see the light. The lightning. Got this nice. Can I jump over? Nope. Alright. Got a block over here as well. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it the, for the medieval updated environment in 5.3. I feel like it is better because they were able to nanite a lot of objects like these barrels. So yeah, let's go ahead and end it. I don't remember that. Pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the medieval environment that was updated to 5.3. If you haven't checked it out, man, I highly suggest you do it. Additionally, DLSS 3 for Emulation 5.3 is also out. Go download it. I put the link in the description below on how you can install it. I showed it how to do it in 5.2, but it's the same exact thing. 
in 5.3. Like always, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.